In this exercise, you're going to install some additional tools for brackets. You may find other ones that you want as well. You can look up on the web, best tools for brackets. There's all sorts of great tools out there. There are a few that I really want you to install. The one that I really like is called Beautify. So you will find Beautify, it's the one by Drew Hamlet. You'll click install and then install right away. The other one that I want you to get is W3C Validation. Again, you can say I already have that one installed. You're looking for W3 Validation by Raymond Camden. Then you'll also want to get Spell Check. And I don't have that one installed yet, so I'm going to hit install. You'll notice it's very quick. Installation, installation happens right away. An optional one is Emmet. You'll notice I have that installed. You may see me work with it. I don't recommend it unless you really know what you're doing. I'll give you a quick sample of how Emmet is used. If I want to add, for example, a div tag with a class with a heading in it, I could just put in dot .container, that would be the name of my class for my div, and that'll make more sense soon. If you know what it means, you're probably ready to use Emmet. And inside it, I want to put an H1 tag, and then I can hit tab, and it will create those pieces of code for me automatically. So it's a way to put in keyboard, for, to use keyboard shortcuts to make coding faster. Again, if you've done some HTML coding, great tool. If not, don't worry about it. In the Web 115 class, if you keep going, you will be required to install that and learn to use it for the first exercise. So to hand in this exercise, after you've installed those three required plugins and any others that you find interesting, I want you to go into Installed and make sure that I can see the three plugins that you've installed. Extract for brackets gets installed automatically. But I should be able to see Beautify, W3 Validation, and Spell Check. If I can even see a couple of these, it's fine if one goes off the end. So you'll take a screenshot of this page, you'll hand in the screenshot, and that's it for this assignment.